Right, first of all, what you need to do is to shut down windows and then the unplug any extensions, USBs and then at the back take out the power lead and then turn it over Uh, just to let you know which I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in this Samsung SSD 980. This is slightly faster than the one in here already. For this you're going to need a couple of little small Phillips screwdrivers. And if you're going to put in a two and a half inch drive, you can use this adapter that came with the laptop. So we've got 11 screws on the outside here. And I'm going to take them, hang on, there's another one there. And then I'm going to put them all in a little container to keep them safe. Now on the top right corner, where the little triangle sign is, I'm going to use this type of plec thing, which is a similar type of thing. And it's actually where you need to go is below this red piece that looks a bit metal. And get it in there and once you're in you slide along now you can hear clicking open and you slide along and even before you get very far along it's opening up seems to be okay there now on it's back we should be able to lift that up working along you can still use the plastic edge thing to go along the other edges so you don't have to pull it up in case you're you know don't want to break it like that and we're in so as you noticed uh, you may be aware or haven't noticed is the battery here is embedded inside as such uh, it's not like one we could have just pulled out the back of the, the laptop. Now we need to disconnect that. So this is the power lead for the battery. We can, you don't necessarily have to lift this tape up. It's as long as you can get this plastic connector here. Avoid scratching. So that is now disconnected. There's our existing uh, SSD there this is the RAM now this would be a hard drive enclosure if you want to put a two and a half inch SSD that is for a drive but up here if I zoom into there that is the second slot there and there's a screw here which we need to undo uh, undo that screw And then that means I can screw that, plus slip that in. And then screw it down there. Now that's connected, we need to reconnect the battery. Acer Nitro 5. And while you've got the back open, you may want to give the fan, the clean, get all the dust out, use a little brush. Yeah, I'm using a little makeup brush here, or a little mini paint brush would be fine. There you go. What we need to do now to re put the back on. Starting at the front. And then at the back, and then make sure there's no gaps. Yeah, that's gone quite nicely. And then refit your 11 or 12 screws. Then boot up to the BIOS. Now we power up the laptop once you've plugged it back in. When it's booting, you can press F2. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got HDD0 
HDD1, HDD2. And the HDD1 is the Samson 980 that I've just put in. So the components in here, this is where the original NVMe SSD was. And I swapped it to there where the second space is. Um, here is the memory to get that open. It's a matter of like flipping these clips to the side, flipping these clips to the side, and then this just lifts up really easy. And they can only go in one way. So these can be upgraded. With the SSD, once you've got the drive in here, the connector will be here. Connector will be here. And then the little ribbon cable goes in here. You just lift that up. You put the ribbon in there and then you flip it back down.